see this uh, data on the screen. Um, so this data looks uh, non-linear. So this is non-linear data, but we have fit a linear regression line to it, and it certainly doesn't fit uh, the data. The linear regression is represented by the equation y equal to beta naught plus beta one x, where beta naught and beta one are the parameters to be estimated. When we have estimated this equation using this data, we have found out y hat, which represents the the estimated value of uh, of y, is nothing but 9.6 uh, minus 0.09 x. All right. So whether it fits or not, we can we can verify that by plotting the residual of this regression line. So when we do that. We can see that even the residual plot doesn't give us a guarantee that it's, it fits the data. In fact, it says exactly the opposite. Uh, if the linear regression line fits the data, then the residuals would be, you know, uh, distributed uniformly across this uh, x-axis. But they're not uniformly distributed in this case. It's very clear to us that uh, the uh, linear regression line is not fitting the data. So what should we do in such a case? Piecewise regression uh, is one form of uh, equation, regression equation that can actually help us in handling such data. Now, if you go back to the previous slide, we can see that the data has some pattern, even though it seems to be non-linear in nature. It does have some pattern, like you can see. Um, so from here, you can see there is some pattern. We can fit a regression line till this point, and then we can fit another regression line um, afterwards. So we can actually, instead of fitting just one regression line, single regression line, we can have two separate linear regression line, which will fit the data better than just a single regression line, and that's why we're calling it as piecewise linear regression that means uh, we have two pieces and you could be multiple pieces also okay so how do we divide the sample into different pieces okay so we need to select the threshold value and using that we'll 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 uh, do that okay so you can see the uh, the pattern seem to be changing somewhere here right and that's x equal to 70 okay so we'll fit two regression line, one like this, which is regression line one. The other one, other one would be uh, like this one. So this L2. Given the fact that we have, you know, two uh, pieces of data now, uh, hence, you know, it's called uh, piecewise linear regression. And how do we estimate it? How do we form these equations? We'll see that. All right. Now. What we'll do is that we'll define a dummy. We'll introduce a dummy. The dummy variable, we name it as d. It takes a value of 1 if x is greater than 70. Else, uh, it takes a value of 0. So x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable for us. Okay. So we'll change this linear equation. Um, so initially, we had this one, right? y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x. So the simple linear regression will change it slightly. So what we will do is that we'll keep this, you know, the first part as it is. So we have y and then which is beta naught plus beta 1 x. We introduce a second part to the equations and that's where we will introduce the dummy variable. Okay. So we have another estimate beta 2 and it's x minus, um, x minus 70 multiplied to the dummy variable okay and remember dummy variable takes a value of 1 if x is greater than 70 else it takes a value of 0 so there will be two equations now and i'm going to show you how it is okay so when dummy is equal to 0 okay so this term becomes 0 right the second part of this equation is nothing but 0 so we just are left with in the first part of equation which is nothing but y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x so this is nothing but what we already had right in the first equation if d equal to 1 then you know 
in place of d we just multiplied one on that so you know uh, so now we have y equal to beta naught plus beta one x plus beta two x minus 70 and then you know in place of d we just have multiplied it to 1 and then we simplify it okay just you know um, remove the bracket so beta 2 is multiplied to x it becomes beta 2 x beta 2 is multiplied to 70 which is 70 beta 2 and then we rearrange the terms okay so the intercept now would be beta naught so this term minus 70 beta 2 okay so this term which is a constant we have another constant here 70 beta 2 so we just you know rearrange the terms so beta naught minus 70 beta 2 is the new intercept okay and then we take x common because the two these two terms have x common right beta 1 x and beta 2 x so just take x common and we have beta 1 plus beta 2 x so the inter intercept in this new equation is beta 1 plus beta 2 whereas the intercept sorry this is the slope coefficient beta 1 plus beta 2 whereas the intercept is beta naught minus 70 beta 2 okay so this is when the dummy variable takes the value of 1 so we have two equations now so we have two pieces of equations for two pieces of data all right now we will estimate using the data all right so the final equation uh, we just we can write it in just one equation and of course it takes two forms depending on the value of the dummy okay so y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 x minus 70 multiplied to d d is the dummy variable and what we will do is that so uh, x minus 70 um, x minus 70 multiplied to d we will call it a variable called x star so we'll just give, give a new name okay just for notation purpose we will again you know come back to the you know uh, the same term it's just that for easy to understand we'll we'll call it as x star so the new equation becomes x equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 x star so we we are interested in finding out beta 1 beta 2 and of course beta naught if you, you find it out then we will you know go ahead with uh, explaining these terms and we will have these two equations in place all right now we have estimated we have estimated using the data and we have found out that y hard is nothing but uh, 7.79 minus 0.06 x minus 0.1 x star right there are two estimates uh, slope coefficients beta 1 and beta 2 beta 1 is uh, 0.06 and beta 2 is 0.1 and the intercept beta naught is 7.79 okay now remember x star is nothing but x minus 70 d okay when d equal to 0 then this term vanishes right this becomes irrelevant here because this becomes 0 so we are left with uh, y hat equal to 7.79 minus 0.06x so this is one equation okay and we're calling it as l1 remember in the first slide we call the first equation first line to be l1 okay when d equal to 1 okay that means d is that means x is greater than 70 right that's when the dummy variable takes a value of 1 if that is the case you know you just use the main equations so in place of x star just put x minus 70 d so we have just put x minus 70 and just d equal to 1 okay and then, then multiply it when you multiply it to 0.1 x and then 0.1 multiply to 70 so that becomes 70 that becomes 7 sorry right so if you just simplify this equation so 0.1 will be multiplied to x so that takes a value of 0.1x and then 0.1 negative 0.1 multiplied to negative 70 so that like you know 7 right that's 7 so this 7 gets added to 7.79 which takes a value of 14.86 and then which is the intercept and 0.1 is the 
slope coefficient. So when d equal to 1, it takes a value of y hat equal to 14.86 minus point, uh, point 0.1x. Okay, so that's the second equation which is the L2. And we can visualize this. We can fit this to data and let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. The first case where you know x is less than so this is where you know this is uh, this line right uh, the l1 is where d is um, let's say less than 70 and here it is uh, d is greater than equal to 70 okay and this is l2 right so l1 as we have seen is X uh, equation y hat equal to 7.79 minus 0.06x and L2 is y hat equal to 14.86 minus 0.1x. Uh, okay, so these are two separate lines, and these two lines fit the data much better than a single linear regression line. So piecewise uh, regression is, is nothing but just you know introducing a dummy variable and you know creating interaction term okay so x star is nothing but the interaction term that's what we in technically calling it as interaction term so using the dummy variable we create the interaction term and get back to the uh, equations um, and we have you know, more than one linear regression equations and it can be extended to multiple uh, you know such cases I mean you need not have just two linear uh, regression equations or two pieces we can have more than two pieces as well so that's the you know idea behind uh, piecewise linear regression well when we see the residuals also it's much better distribution compared to what we had seen in the first uh, linear regression that we, we we had fit to the data so there you know it was not very uniformly distributed it was very I least you know uh, non-uniform in nature but the uniformity has been restored to a large extent there are outliers no doubt about it this data point is an outlier but still you can you can see there is you know uniformity uh, in the distribution there are of course two outliers in these cases okay so this is how we uh, you know we use piecewise linear regression to handle data which is somewhat non-linear now Non-linear data cannot always be handled with PCOS linear regression. All we need to say is that do we have different pattern in different part of the data or different subsample of the data? If that is the case, that is what we can, you know, get to know uh, by visualizing by visualizing the data uh, before you know building the model. If we get to know that uh, prior to building the model, then we can try it out with uh, piecewise linear regression and compare the result with the linear regression and see which one is working better or which one is uh, giving us a better 